Hey Feeling friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving my honest review and sharing my personal experiences with using a self-cleaning automatic litter box. So if you've been with my channel from the beginning, you know that I'm usually a diehard advocate for steel pan litter boxes. I think they do an extremely good job of naturally eliminating odors and they're very easy to clean. My opinion on those have not changed. I still think they're an amazing option. However, this time around with Mika, I was really curious to try out some of these new self-cleaning litter boxes becoming more and more popular in recent years. You might be most familiar with the Litter Robot, which I believe is like the leading brand in the self-cleaning litter box space right now. However, those typically run between $700 to $900, and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to splurge that much money on a litter box yet. So I personally decided to see if there were cheaper options that I could find on Amazon, and I came across the Vicharia self-cleaning cat litter box. This was about $399, and I believe it was on sale when I got it. I'm not sure if that sale is still going on. And on first glance, it has similar features. They both look like rocket ships, and it has a self-rotational system that automatically cleans out your cat's poop and pee. And I want to be completely clear, this video is not sponsored at all. I bought this model on my own will, so I'll be sharing my 100% honest review. Just to give you guys an overview of the general usage, the litter box came completely pre-assembled, which I thought was nice. I didn't have to put anything together. All I had to do was connect the litter box to an app called the Smart Life app. So yeah, once I got my product, I connected it to the app and then I filled it with litter. Here's where I wanna give you guys a heads up. I thought that the only way you could fill the litter was through the entry doorway where the cat goes into the litter box. That is not true. There's actually two handles on the side of the litter box where you can push to pop the lid off the top. And that gives you access to a little hole where you can more conveniently pour in the litter. But yeah, beyond that, um, setup was very smooth. I have read some reviews of other people who struggled a little bit with the Bluetooth setup. I will say that the instruction manual that it came with was not the clearest, but um, we managed to set it up in about like 15 to 20 minutes. So basically once you fill this litter box with litter and you attach it to the app and everything's working, then you control all of its settings directly from the app. So I have the app pulled up on my phone right now and I just quickly wanted to walk you all through how it works. The first button is the reset button, which is really important because every time you refill the litter box with new litter or more litter, you're gonna wanna press this reset button right here and that will calibrate everything to the weight of the additional litter you put in. By resetting everything, you're just making sure that the litter box can more accurately track your cat's presence and your cat's weight. So the button below that is the clearance button, which basically signals the litter box to make a complete rotation and empty out all of the contents inside the litter box, which includes the clean litter and the dirty litter. So you're only gonna wanna press that button if you want to switch out the litter completely. Next to the clearance button, you'll see a clean button. And this is the normal cleaning function that will just rotate the litter box and clean out all of the poop and pee and separate that from the clean litter. And basically that'll empty out all the poop and pee into a drawer that is situated below the actual litter box. So you just basically pull out that drawer and line it with a trash bag, and then you can just tie up and empty out that trash bag and replace the liner every time it's full. For me personally, I replace the liner maybe every three to four days, and that seems to be working pretty well for me. But the app will also notify you when the drawer is getting full. It's nice that the app reminds you in case you kind of forget to empty it out one week or it's getting full quicker than usual. And then above the clean button is the deodorize button. I will be completely honest, um, I'm kind of at a loss for what this button does. I've tried looking it up in the manual, I've tried looking it up online, and I'm not really sure how the deodorizer works because there wasn't any aerosol spray or additional components I had to install into the litter box. And personally, I haven't really found much difference between using the deodorizer function and not using the deodorizer function. Okay, so scrolling down the app a little bit, you can see there are different settings down here as well. I currently have my litter box on the automatic mode. Below the automatic mode, there's a timer and you can set this to any time you want. So I currently have it set for three minutes, which means that three minutes after the litter box detects Mika leaves, it'll do its rotation and empty out whatever she just did in there. It looks like the maximum is 20 minutes and the minimum is zero minutes. One thing I was personally worried about is that the litter box would rotate while she's in there. You don't have to 
worry about that because there's a safety mechanism where if it detects her presence or even if she even starts walking into the litter box, it'll just automatically stop rotating even if it's been rotation. So you don't have to worry about your cat getting hurt or getting tumbled along with its doo-doo in there. There's also an option to automatically deodorize the litter box. Like I said, I don't know what this function exactly does. I just leave it on in case it does something that I don't know about. And then at the very top of the app, you'll see a notice button. This is basically a track record of how often your cat is going to the bathroom, what time your cat goes to the bathroom, and where the weight tracking is. So I will say that the weight tracking is not very precise, and I think that's kind of a trade-off of getting a cheaper automatic litter box, because I know the litter robot has very, very precise weight tracking, and it tracks your cat's weight every single time your cat uses it. This one is not as precise. As you can see um, here, she went to the bathroom today, and it actually hasn't tracked her weight yet. And the last time it tracked her weight was yesterday, and it clocked her in at four kilograms. And that's another thing about the weight tracking on here is that it tracks in kilograms. So I don't know exactly how much she weighs in pounds. So um, while this helps track her general weight, it doesn't really give a precise estimate. So yeah, that's just something I think that buyers should be a little bit more aware of before they buy this model. So I kind of already touched on some pros and cons as I walk you through how to use this model. But more specifically, I think uh, one thing I haven't talked about is the convenience and the accessibility. I think overall, I do not regret this purchase because it makes scooping litter much easier. And I think it's a great way to increase accessibility for a lot of cat owners. If you live with you know, a chronic health condition, a physical disability, a mental health condition, that makes it a little bit harder for you to bend over and scoop litter. This is a fantastic option. I really like the app-based controls. I can automatically have the litter box clean, but I can also choose to manually clean it and manually deodorize it, even though I don't know what that does whenever I want. And this is both a pro and a con with this model, but I do like that it generally tracks her weight. It's not very precise, but if she gains a lot of weight or she loses a drastic amount of weight, I'll be able to know from the app tracking. So now let's talk about the cons of this litter box. I think in general, like I said, the deodorizer doesn't seem to do much and the plastic material tends to retain a lot of odors. So in terms of odor control, I still think that the steel pan litter box has this beat by a landslide. I also find that this model is kind of clunky and hard to deep clean. I don't know if I just haven't discovered other ways to disassemble it, but right now the only way I can deep clean it is by um, using the clearance button and then cleaning it from the entryway or the top component where you pour the litter in. And then like I said, the weight tracking isn't that precise. I think if you're a cat owner who really values tracking your cat's weight to the T, I would probably consider purchasing a more expensive model or the litter robot if that works for your budget. Like I said, I don't regret this purchase and Mika has no problem using the litter box, which I think is most important. Um, I was initially kind of worried she would be afraid of it or she wouldn't really get accustomed to it. But as soon as we brought her home, after she got through her period of acclimating to the space, she just jumped right in there and knew how to use it off the bat. The only issue we kind of ran into is that she was very curious about the rotational system of the litter box. So every time the litter box started rotating, she would kind of try to jump in or like swat it because she didn't know what was going on. But like I said, it comes with a safety mechanism to automatically stop every time it detects the presence of your cat. So we didn't have to worry about her getting hurt. But yeah, other than that, I haven't had any issues with it. It hasn't broken down at all. It hasn't gotten jammed at all. If you are looking for a cheaper alternative to the litter robot, I would lean towards recommending this Vicharia model. That pretty much sums up all of my experiences. If you have any additional questions about self-cleaning litter boxes or this particular model that I bought, please feel free to leave your comments down below. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!